For almost nine decades, Deer Park ISD has been the center of the Deer Park, Deepwater, and Lynchburg communities. Across the state, Deer Park ISD is known for its quality instructional programs, safe learning environment, exceptional fine arts opportunities, winning athletic teams, and a community that supports and provides outstanding facilities. Our finances receive the highest ratings from the state, and our students are truly world changers and active members of the community. As we look to the future, Deer Park ISD wants to continue that tradition of excellence, and we are asking you, the voters, to join us by participating in the district's 2017 school bond election. Hello, friends. I'm Superintendent Victor White. I've worked in Deer Park as a teacher, coach, and administrator for almost 40 years. But I first arrived here as a student. So I'm proud to say that long before I sat in the desk in my office, I spent many years sitting at a desk in our classrooms. I had many opportunities provided by people I hadn't even imagined. Teachers, school board members, administrators, and community supporters folks who established this fine school district and its many traditions. Deer Park has been preparing today's students for tomorrow's challenges for a long time, and we plan to continue that noble mission. But that takes vision, hard work, and planning to meet the educational challenges of the future. With that in mind, I'd like to share some information about the district's upcoming 2017 bond election. But before we look forward, let's look back. The biggest indicator of future behavior is past performance. Voters overwhelmingly supported our last bond election in 2010. And I'm proud to say that we completed all of the projects presented to the public. Those projects have been a source of pride for our students, community, and employees. And they have resulted in countless opportunities for our students over the past seven years. If the bond election is approved, the district will be just as diligent in completing the planned bond projects. Those projects will include items that fall into four important areas. Instruction, safety and security, support services, and facilities. I've asked a few of our team members to talk to you about the proposed bond projects. I'll see you back again in just a few minutes. I'm Nadia Trevino Luna. Instruction is our business, and I'm here to share some facts with you about how the bond election will impact our instructional program if it is approved by voters. The proposed instructional projects include technology upgrades, fine arts items, career and technical programs, athletics, and campus resources. A large portion of the instructional bond projects includes technology upgrades. Our students will never know a world without constant connectivity, and our resources will responsibly provide state-of-the-art technology with flexibility for future expansion. All schools will receive new and upgraded computers, new telephone systems, and new student database software. Several school gyms, cafeterias, and auditoriums will receive new projection and sound systems. Our network will receive upgrades to equipment and cabling, resulting in improved access for our students. Upgrades to our fine arts program include replacing coral risers and installing lighting systems at specific schools, repairs at Gaines Mason Auditorium, equipment maintenance, and the installation of new carpet and floor lighting at the Performing Arts Center, new concert uniforms for high school students, and new software for staying in touch with parents. Bond funds will also be used to purchase new library books, resource materials, library equipment and furniture, classroom and cafeteria furniture, and science lab equipment will be purchased. The thousands of students who use our athletics facilities and equipment will also see improvements to the program. We will resurface tracks and tennis courts, upgrade the softball and baseball field drainage systems, and increase seating capacity at the softball field. Our facilities will receive a facelift when we replace gym backboards, repair replace field sprinkler systems, paint walls and fences, update outdoor basketball goals, and repair baseball or softball backstops. The last program that falls under instruction is the High School Agriculture Program. 
participation in ag science has increased by 250% since the facility was completed and the barn is completely full. If the barn passes, the ag center will be expanded, providing new classrooms and space for dozens of students who requested a stall but were denied due to lack of room. We will purchase new equipment and we will add more parking. Deer Park ISD was recently named the safest school district in the greater Houston area. But safety isn't a goal to be reached, it's an ongoing process that we will continue to refine. Hello, I'm Darren Chandler and I'd like to share some information with you about the safety and security part of the bond election. There are several safety related projects that will be funded by the bond election if it passes. Surveillance cameras which protect our students and facilities will be replaced in every school. Schools will receive an extra layer of security inside and out with the installation of shatter resistant window film, safety lighting, and safety vestibules which provide a buffer between the main entrance and the classrooms and halls where our students spend their days. Our visitor check-in system will be updated to ensure that the thousands of visitors to our schools each month are clear to enter. Bond funds will also be used to purchase emergency items like panic alarms and radios. Our support services departments are often the unsung heroes of the school district because they prepare more than 2.4 million meals each year. They maintain over 2.7 million square feet of facilities year-round and they safely drive our students to and from school each day, traveling more than 634,000 miles every year. Hi, I'm Paula Schamberger and I'm excited to talk to you about the support services projects that will be funded if the 2017 bond election is approved. These projects are particularly important because they impact every school in the district. Our cafeterias will continue to serve meals that are equally flavorful and nutritional thanks to new ovens, steamers, vent hoods, warmers, freezers, and ice machines. Kitchens will become safer for our employees thanks to new fire suppression systems. The proposed maintenance projects will include many items that usually don't cross anyone's mind, that is, until they malfunction. We can extend the life of our schools and keep them comfortable for our students and more efficient by replacing chillers, cooling towers, HVAC controls, boilers, and air handlers. We will also address roofing and building exterior needs at several schools. In some cases, we will recapture space in schools to create new classrooms. Several schools will receive upgraded flooring, ceilings, and lighting. Finally, we will replace the rear North Campus parking lot. The district's bus mechanics are modern-day magicians, able to safely keep vehicles running through routine, preventative maintenance and daily inspections. But older buses must eventually be replaced. The bond proposal includes purchasing 35 regular school buses and 15 special needs buses. We will also purchase new shop equipment, remove and replace the fuel storage tanks, and repair exterior fencing and gates. Speaking of support services, our maintenance department does an outstanding job of keeping our buildings looking great. But decades of wear and tear can take a toll on our schools. And even though many of the issues aren't necessarily visible, they can threaten the safety and efficiency of the building. Think of it like a very old car that's had a new paint job. It looks great on the outside, but the motor is old and needs to be replaced or significantly repaired. I'm Blanca Galvan. And I'd like to share some information with you about some of the largest projects that are part of the bond proposal. The biggest single project will be the reconstruction of Carpenter Elementary. The current Carpenter Elementary was built in 1958. Neil Armstrong was more than a decade away from taking that famous giant step for mankind onto the moon's surface. Here in Deer Park, the entire district only had about 2,900 students, which is about the same number of students we have at South Campus today. Carpenter has served its students well over the years, but an independent company evaluated the building and told us that it would be cheaper to replace it than it would to renovate it. Our plan is to construct a new Carpenter Elementary that will provide a modern facility with the potential for new opportunities that mirrors that of the students who will walk its halls. The new Carpenter will feature classrooms that balance safety with functionality, the latest technology, and so much more. It will be a source of pride for its students and a source of inspiration for the community. Two other projects include significant renovations to the district's oldest junior highs, Deepwater and Deer Park Junior High. 
These two schools share similar floor plans and were each opened in the mid-1960s. Unfortunately, they have something else in common. Neither of them has aged well. Each of these schools will receive a new roof, a new air chiller, a new electrical system, additional security lights, exterior improvements, foundation repairs, new gym seating, and much more. The remaining facilities projects include the installation of new turf at Apture Stadium and the demolition of the old San Jacinto Elementary building. It's important to be honest and clear about how the bond election will impact the community from a financial standpoint. If the election receives support from the voters, we expect a small tax increase. Average homeowners will see their school tax bills increase by less than $4.50 a month. Homeowners with a higher property appraisal will see a small monthly tax increase of around $7.29, equal to about a cup and a half of fancy coffee at the drive through around the corner. For homeowners who are over the age of 65, the bond election will have no impact on your taxes because they're frozen at the current level. We've all heard the old saying, you get what you pay for. But that's not necessarily the case with a bond election. If the bond election is approved, property owners will pay a little more, but it's hard to place a value on the opportunities that will be provided for our students. Election day is Tuesday, November 7th, and voting locations will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Election day voting locations include all locations approved by Harris County and are listed at www.harrisvotes.com. Early voting takes place from October 23rd through November 3rd at Harris County early voting locations. The only county approved early voting location in Deer Park ISD is located at the Kyle Chapman Annex, 7330 Spencer Highway, Pasadena, Texas 77505 and the voting times vary from day to day. For more details about early voting locations and times, go to www.dpisd.org slash bonds2017. Your past involvement in Deer Park Schools has contributed to our tradition of excellence. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this bond video and we thank you for your participation in the election on November 7th. For more information, go to www.dpisd.org slash bonds2017 or contact the District Information Office at 832-668-7030.